G'day guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to quickly create 2D documentation using the Pluspec Layout tool. Here's a quick example of what we'll be creating in this video, then let's go to the model and create the file. So after you've drawn your whole model, what you need to do next is generate your scenes. So in this model, as you'll notice, we've already got scenes across the top of the page. If you don't, click on the scene tool here and then generate your scenes by clicking the submit button down below. We recommend using the documentation scene set, which is just here. Once they've been created, you'll then be going to the layout tool. Before going to the layout tool, make sure you save your model so that the file can be generated. Once your file is saved, click on the layout tool, which is located here in the Plusspec toolbar. Before we get started explaining the tool, these two buttons up here will take you to specific tutorials or help that will help explain the layout tool and all of our other tools in more detail. So if you have any questions or need to know anything else, go up here and find out more. The first thing you want to do is create favourites. So as you can see we've already got a favourite saved here. Favourites can be saved, updated and removed at any time. And what they will do is save all of the options in the dialog. To add a new favourite, click the add button and a pop-up will appear. Then simply name the favourite whatever you need it to be. In this instance we'll call it A3 multi multi story. Then click OK. It is then added and can be updated or removed as much as you want. Next you need to go and check your paper size. So in this one here we've created it as an A3 where you can select from A0 all the way to A4. This has a dual purpose this field. You can draw the paper size in the model and what that will do is then cross-reference to make sure that you can fit the structure in your model on your plan. What it also does is help select which of the default layout templates to use, which we'll get into now. So with the layout template, there is two to select from. There is Select My Own, which will be covered in another video, which essentially what it does is you can import your own templates to be used and will be saved for your favourites. But for this one, we'll just select Default. So what it'll be doing now, it'll be selecting the Pluspec default template with the A3 size paper. These next three fields are all for our new auto dimension feature. So what they'll do is set the leader line to be short or long, whether they want the units to be displayed. So it'll say, for example, if it was metric, a thousand or a thousand millimeters or, th or one meter, whatever it might be, it's displaying that meter or could be feet not whether it's displaying that unit or not. And then here you can select which unit the dimensions will be in. Next what you want to do is add a new page. So to add a page, go to the bottom of the dialog and find this button here called Add New Page. Click on that and it will add a new page. You can keep clicking that and adding multiple pages and then if you add one too many, you can click Remove. But since we want to add one, we'll click Add. Next, if we want to be adding one above here, um, this one here that's already existing which was a floor plan so we want to create a site plan you click these up and down arrows and they will reorder the position so as you can see the floor plan now is below and this one here which is now page 2 is above page 3 since we want this to be a site plan we go into the drop down here and select slot site plan which is just here we can then set the scale that we want it to be say it might be 1, one in 250 and then it's all set ready to go. The skip page here means it'll skip that page entirely. So for example in the example one that I showed you before the very first page would be used for a cover page and you can put a 3D representation of the model like this or anything else that you might want so since I didn't want to use that I skipped the first page. Now if you want to add in another page below click add page it'll add it again and if we want to add elevations to there, you click down on the viewports on page drop down and select how many viewports per page. So as you can see viewport 1 is just showing 1, 2 shows 2 and where they'll be laid out, 3 again and 4. So in this instance we want to use the two options and as you can see if I go back to the 4 option all the different colours here correspond with the colours up in the image here. So if so we want to do 2, we've got 2 elevations here for the first one we'll make it elevation 1 and the corresponding one will be the other side so it'll be elevation 3. 
we want the scale to be 1 to 100 in this instance as well so we'll leave them as they are and we'll come back up to here and we'll auto dimension this page right now that we've all set that up if this is going to be always used as the A3 multi-story favorite click update a little pop-up will appear here letting you know that it's been successfully updated once this has all happened you're free to click submit when you click submit a little pop-up will appear at the top of the dialog here which just notifies you that the file is being created it's important to note that the larger the model is and the more viewports and pages that are creating inside of the file the file that's being created will take longer for the larger instances once the file has been successfully created this pop-up will appear and will explain where it's saved so since this model is already saved in a location, the file that's been generated will save at the same location as where the SketchUp model is saved. So this one here was saved on my desktop in a folder there, so this is then added there as well. So if we click OK, it will then open up a folder, and which is where the file has been saved. So as you can see here, that was the file that we showed, the layout file we showed at the very beginning of the video, and this is the one that we've now created. It's called Rev1 for revision 1 and that will keep adding up each time so if we do another one it will be revision 2, revision 3, revision 4 so you can always keep track of where you're up to. What we'll do now is click on the layout file and see what the result looks like. So out of the box the file will look like this as you can see here this was the site plan if I go back a page this was that page that we skipped go back again you can then see it's been auto dimensioned for all the walls um, some layers have been turned off so if we go to the layers and turn on the internal only you'll see all the other walls um, and we can go to here too and we can select the elevations as you can see it's been laid out exactly to what we put into the dialog it's also now ready to add all the other required information like notes and labels to get the plans through and passed if you want to find out more about the layout tool, make sure you check out the other tutorial videos. Cheers.